Hello and welcome to kingsnake.com. Today we're at the Nash, uh, North American Reptile Breeders Expo in Arlington, Texas, and we stopped by the booth of world famous reptile artist Tell Hicks, who's going to tell us about some of the artwork that he's uh, producing here. Tell's been doing art for quite some time. He's one of one of the reptile world's most preeminent artists. He's covered everything from turtles and tortoises to snakes and lizards. Uh, tell, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you've got on display here today? Uh, well, I'll show you first of all. I'll show you one that I'm working on at the show. Uh, we're going along uh, to a sea turtle conference next week. Um, so I produced this one, Bob Ashley commissioned this. And it's of a, a leatherback turtle. And it's been a voyage of discovery for me, really. It's uh, an amazing animal. And the research I've had to do to do the painting, uh, I don't just know. ignore yeah. the creature. Uh, one of the fascinating things is the, the, the spiny teeth that line its mouth. It's one of the things that most people, when they see the painting, are amazed to see a turtle with teeth. They feed on jellyfish, and I had the, the concept of the idea was to have the uh, turtle swim through a, a shoal of jellyfish. It's not finished yet, but I've got a bit. You see the highlights on, on this jellyfish here. There'll be highlights on all the others, which really make it pop. Oh, do you have a preferred medium that you work in, or what, are, what mediums do you work in? Yeah, I work entirely in oil. Mm -hmm. Except for the t-shirt designs, uh, and I do all the separations by yeah, hand, yeah, in ink. Right. You've been doing quite a lot of paintings at some of the shows. Uh, what are some of the other paintings that you've done at reptile shows, actually? Uh, well, I've got... Most of my work is done to commission, so uh, if, I, if you see me doing it at a show, it's normally uh, for somebody. Uh, and So, uh, as a consequence, I don't really have a great number of original pieces here. Mm -hmm. So these are prints that have been done uh, from the originals. This is a lace monitor that belonged to uh, Steve Irwin. It's one of his, his pet lizards. Uh, the bells form of the lace monitor, but they, they're all individual, individually marked. And this particular specimen is the best I've ever seen. Whenever I went to Australia, uh, when, when Steve was alive, he allowed me access to any of the reptiles I, I wanted to paint. He called this particular individual Smiley, because he's got a beautiful smiley face pattern on the back of his head. This is uh, an illustration over here for, uh, for a book on Arizona rattlesnakes. And this is a specimen that I, I found in, in the Rincon Mountains. The book's going to have 19 plates, and uh, this will be one of them. I wanted to show the rattlesnakes uh, the dorsal and lateral view of the heads, plus the tail, but I didn't want the traditional sort of boring linear uh, illustration. I wanted something a bit more artistic. So each of the illustrations will, will meet this sort of format. These are some wood turtles. Uh, my favorite North American turtle, whenever I come over in, in the summer, uh, we normally go canoeing up in northern Michigan, and I just love the way the sun hits these while it's, uh, they're basking on the riverbank. Just have to paint them. The flowers, I, I saw some of these flowers. These are lesser celandine. And I saw them actually grown where we, we'd uh, seen the turtles basking. And I actually have these flowers growing in my neighborhood back in the UK. They're, they're apparently been introduced to, to North America. Your, your images are almost photographic in terms of detail. How long does it take you to produce one of your works? Uh, normally three weeks to, to a month, something like that, but that's fairly solid going. I, I normally get up um, in the studio at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm normally in there at 9 o'clock in the evening. It's a long day. It's, it's something I have a passion for, so it's not really uh, hard work. Do you have any particular image or, or painting that you're most enamored with or, or uh, do you like and dislike all of them in some way <laughs> i don't know they, they all have uh, they all bring back memories it's like having uh, a, a page from your diary on display and uh, so you you're reminded of uh, uh, experiences uh, whenever you see the the painting it, something like this for instance a tuatara 
actually, I, I've been to New Zealand and had the opportunity of seeing and handling Kiwataras in the wild. It, it's just an amazing experience. I travel around the world, uh, fortunate to have this job that enables me to combine a hobby uh, with, and a passion with, with uh, a job. Well, Tell, you do some great work here. I really appreciate you taking your time up out of your busy schedule here at the show and, and showing us around a little bit. Uh, have you got anything in, in the future that you'd like to, to tell us about or uh, coming up that you're just starting with? or? Uh, well, I've always got people waiting for stuff, so I've always got a, a, a queue of people waiting for commissions. But uh, one of the um, paintings that I'll be working on in, in the near future, hopefully, is of a dodo. Uh, I, I do portrait work, and not just reptile work, and it's going to be great to uh, um, do something exciting like a dinosaur or a, or a dodo. How do you work on animals that don't exist anymore? I mean, most of your subjects here obviously still exist, so you can see representations of them in nature, but... Right, well, I'm fortunate that with the reptiles, people allow me access to their specimens, or I, I can travel around the world and uh, see them in the wild. With, uh, with things like dinosaurs, obviously I'm going to have to do the research, but I do that anyway. Uh, the information is there, and... Uh, it also allows me to use, it's going to allow me to use some artistic license, and uh, it's quite an exciting project. Well, it, it's just uh, amazing the stuff that you've been able to put on canvas here. Uh, I want to thank you once again, uh, everybody. This has been Tel Hicks from the North American Reptile Breeders Conference up in Arlington, Texas. And this has been Jeff Berenger reporting for kingsnake.com.